Okay, sometimes I have to adjust it. Well, welcome again, Webzy Wonky. Um, I was going to do something different. Um, I got these cards. Well, my fiance got them. And I don't get what the thing. They are, I've been saying they're uh, the secret of nature. I've been saying something else, but I don't know what I've been saying. And I'm going to do a guidance reading for those who feel like they need it. Um, these are a little bit different than regular tarot cards. Pretty much like that. Just going to show them real quick and then shuffle. Um, but yeah, we'll get into it. I'll probably use these when I feel led to use them. I want to get more, which in the near future we'll get more. Um, new cards and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to shuffle them. My intention is those who feel led or drawn to this reading. Uh, not necessarily pick a card or reading. Um, just pretty much the energies and intentions. Pure intentions of love, compassion, and guidance. For those who are needing guidance right now in their life. From the spirit of nature cards. Alright, what's going on? Person who needs this. Might do a few. I'll do three scenarios. Let's make it even. Do four. Okay, so four scenarios with three cards. So first scenario. I guess this would be like a pick a card. Oh, we have two cards that want it to come out. So let's see. I don't know why the the phone's been doing that like it does sideways. See how beautiful these cards are? This is the Knight of Stones. The Green Man. It's funny because there's a green woman too. We have the Eight of Vessels. Rebirth. The Fountain of Life. Eight of Stones. Oops, that was in reverse. The six of bones. Six of bows abundance. That was in reverse. Alright. So I felt right away. For some of you, you may be having a child, um, pregnancy. Um, I feel like you're really determined maybe to have this child. Um, I do feel like there needs to be a balance to the situation first. There needs to be giving and receiving in the situation to get everything organized for this child to come into this life. Um, so a solid foundation I'm getting. And uh, this is in reverse, in abundance, in reverse. So I feel like things definitely need to balance out. If you're looking to have children, I do feel like there needs to be, uh, especially the green man, I do feel like there needs to be, your intentions need to be pure and right. I do feel like this child is eager to be with both of you um, in this lifetime, but I do feel like there needs to be a lot of effort on both parties. Uh, both of you need to have a stable foundation. I do feel like once you get a stable foundation, whether it is a home of your own or secure, because I do feel like there is security of finances, that's not a problem. It's just both being on the same page, both coming together in union. This is also rebirth. So I, I do feel like this is a transforming time for you and your partner. If you're expecting to have and conceive a child, I do feel like it will come to pass, maybe near the fall time, um, or when you will have the child possibly, or when you will conceive. Um, I do feel like there needs to be a lot of work on both of your parties. Uh, I don't know why I think third party. Uh, maybe it's going to take a lot of group effort to make this happen. 
So I do feel like in due time, um, things will things will work out. All right, so that's the first scenario. Let's do the second scenario. Maybe this has to do with your job situation, I'm feeling. The second scenario. All right, what's the guidance for the second? Second, um, second reading. What is the guidance? The secret of nature's guidance for group number two. All right, I'm seeing a face of some kind on this thing. I don't know why I'm looking to the side, like a face. Creativity, job, avenues. Let's do these. So if you, I now have a little bit cards. Uh, maybe that will put... Okay, so right away, I know this is a lot of cards, but it's what's wanting to come out. You could have a placement of snake in your Chinese astrology. You could be double placement of Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, I feel like you want to create something with someone. You want fulfillment, or you have fulfillment in this relationship. Uh... But yeah, you're in a creative state right now. Um, so I feel like you're both communicating what you want. But secretly, maybe you don't know what you want. This is the mirror. So maybe you guys mirror each other a lot. I'm getting that energy. This is a page of bows, stout. Um, maybe things aren't clear when it comes to your communication. Uh, I feel like you are afraid of failure of some kind. I do feel like with the life of the sun and energy, you're kind of depleted. Um, I also feeling rebirth, but that's in reverse, so. I do feel like you're depleted in maybe a job situation. This is the moon on the water. Ooh, bull. So in Taurus season. Alright, there's an indication something in Taurus season. Um, a rebirth is happening for you. Um, for whatever the reason, I'm drawn to this card to the balance. So there needs to be some kind of balance to the situation to create the stability, I don't know why I'm getting grounds for divorce. So you could be a Libra. Uh, that's what I'm getting. Also, too, you want to create something, but I feel like maybe something is in your way of your f uh, fulfillment. I feel like you're highly creative, um, but I do feel like with your partner or whoever you're with, you are both very dominant creatures. Um, I feel like you're the bear. You're the queen of the jungle, the bear. And your partner is a wolf. So I'm getting very um, dominant energy with one another. But I do feel like you're you're unsure about what the the end result will look like. Um... I do feel like a lot of feminine energy is around you. Um, it could be a mother figure. It could be something within a mother dynamic that's unbalanced here. Uh, we have the page of bow scout. Uh, so maybe this has to do with your mother. Um, I do feel like you're afraid of falling. You're afraid of things coming to an end. Things not coming clear. Maybe within the Taurus season. So you could have a Taurus moon possibly too. Um, but something around here with dominating energies. Like someone, you and another person are very dominant. But I do feel like with this cat here and looking at this woman... Something's hidden, maybe, with you and your partner. Maybe something, 
outside sources that you don't know that are influenced the relationship. And I feel like it could be like a sneaky, shady person that wants your relationship to end so they can see you fail in some way. Um, I feel like you really need to ground your energy and protect yourself um, in Taurus season, I'm feeling. But I do feel like whatever's here, there needs to be some kind of balance where you, you're a very, very creative person. And I feel like you take a lot of effort into being that creative person. But I also feel like you need to start creating. Um, but here, like I said, there's two dominating energies. Because I feel like with wolves and bears connected, you and your partner are a good match. I feel like, I just feel like one or the other, you both can get very dominant and aggressive towards one another in a... Not in a bad way, but I just feel like it can be too much. But I do feel like there's outside influences trying to uh, mess with your relationship, trying to discourage you, trying to vary you off. There could be some type of magic behind the scene. You know, this kind of woman uh, veering off in the distance. Uh, maybe she holds a lot of seductory type of energy, like Scorpio energy. Um, maybe a snake. So be careful with people outside of work or outside behaviors. Um, because I do feel like they're trying to mess with your energies. But I do feel like regardless of this dominant energy that I feel like both of you have, like... Uh, this is you, you're very dominant, and your partner's a wolf, I do feel like you do balance each other out, especially on the top part, we have the balance card, so um, do be mindful, stay in your creativity, don't be fearful of the things you can't control, I do feel like there's this just you're putting too much energy into your failures, you're putting too much energy, and um if it doesn't work out and I feel like you need to renew yourself in the month of Taurus and I feel like that energy will flow together but again be careful of these snakes be careful of people outside who are trying to influence you guys to somehow come to disagreements where because I do feel like there's a snake of some kind in your relationship outside of the relationship I mean it could be in your relationship um, but wear protective uh, jewelry protective uh, prayers uh, do some like in uh, divination incantations or incantations where you ask your angels to protect you and your loved ones because I do feel like there's a dark energy around you and your loved ones especially your partner um, trying to seduce them and lead them astray but um, I do feel like you need to stop worrying about those things because maybe some of you feel that energy of some kind uh, trying to bother you and your um, partner but I just feel like you need to get in tune with your creativity side to balance this situation out whatever you're going through alright so that was number two now we have number three scenario all right, number three scenario. I'm going to shuffle these a little bit, not too bad. I don't want to bend the cards. Uh, all right, I'm already feeling intense energy, like heating up for some reason. Maybe you guys been upset, those of you who picked number three. I, I don't know how to timestamp, so just listen to it or skip it a little bit if you pick this one. Alright, one more time shuffle. Trying to get all these cards situated. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to pick for number three. What is the messages for them? The secret of nature's guidance for scenario number three. What is number three scenario? Group number three scenario okay I'm getting itchy head so maybe you have someone thinking about you getting heated up maybe this is a love connection a distant love connection I don't know I'm getting cousin 
Alright, so what are the messages and guidance for scenario number three, people? Alright, we have these. Alright, so it came out like this. Alright, maybe this person's connected with number two, but this is maybe the masculine side. Alright. Alright, like I said, yeah, this is connection two. So, I feel like number two, uh, if you're with someone or not, whatever, I feel like this one is associated with yours. So, do listen. Um, snakes. <laughs> What is this? The endurance. Alright, so I do feel like this has to do with a child. You you and your partner have a child together. So, it could be a divorce situation, clearance. Alright, so you're battling maybe custody of this child. Or there's snakes within this child dilemma to the masculine. It could also be, for some of you... This child needs clearance from the father. But there's snakes around this child. So I feel like this child is in danger. So this could be a message to your masculine, which is your partner, the masculine side of your partner. Um, they need clearance. They're waiting on the masculine. They're waiting on him to give the clearance so this child can be born. I do feel like it has to do with pregnancy, but it also could do with if you're in a uh, custody of this child. I do feel like snakes are around them. Um, so they're kind of fearful at the moment. Um, Adder. So this also could be passion. It's weird that there's three snakes. It could be infidelity for some of you. It could be a past person with this child. Um, but I do feel like if it has to do with pregnancy, I do feel like someone needs to step up in their power so they can have clearance. But I feel like the only clearance they're going to have is from the father. So if it is a custody battle of some kind or a situation like that, they need clearance from the father to be born or something needs to take place. Uh, maybe grounds of divorce or maybe something, there's a mess of this situation, but the snake, I would be fearful, it's that Taurus season. So there needs to be some type of clarity. So someone has fallen. I do feel like this is like a tower card almost. So maybe the feminine has awoken and falling off her high horse. Um, Alright, so someone's bored here, which is really weird. The masculine's bored. He wants to change up things. So, I do feel like if this is your reading, um, you're really bored with the situation. Um, maybe there's a lot of work for you to put in. I feel like it's your, your love relationship. There's some things that you find boredom about your partner. And maybe you're trying to get that back. Because you both want to be in a serene place. So this could be move or travel. I do feel like... Uh, maybe you feel like your your wifey poo. She's bored. Maybe you are. Um, but I do feel like there needs to be some kind of union. There needs to be kind of some communication in Taurus season. I'm feeling, especially with that Taurus. Um, reconciliation with one another. Um, but I do feel like if it's concerning a child, they're really not happy. They're alone, they're afraid, they're abandoned, they're struggling. This almost looks like my niece. Um, maybe this person has been with you for a long time. This child, 
Uh, there needs to be some type of reconciliation, clearance of the father. So, and I feel like this could be your wife. If you're masculine of nature or someone you're dealing with who's very bored. They want to be productive. They've been through the muck and the mire of life. And maybe their wild side it hasn't been tamed or they're trying to tame their wild side or something. Um, but I do feel like you need to step up and take initiative action to help this feminine regain her balance. Make her feel loved, cherished, or they need to do that to you. I do feel like that. And regain the balance because I feel like you feel dead inside for some reason. And um, you need to move in a better environment for some of you. Whether it's traveling or moving into another direction. So I do feel like ultimately that's what you want for your relationship. I just feel like if you're dealing with a child of some type of clearance or something. Something needs to be done with that so things can get moving. Alright, we're doing the last scenario. So what's the guidance for the fourth and last guidance? What are they needing to hear? But I did feel for that third one, you know, the, the child is really needing to come through. For you guys, but I just feel like things need to get clearance with the father, whether that has to do with child custody, whether that has to do with the father becoming his true self, becoming more in charge of the situation. I don't know. All right, what is number four's scenario spirit or the secret of nature spirit cards? What are the guidance for number four? Alright, the word that came to me just now is short and sweet to the point. I don't know, maybe this is going to be a raunchy love kind of aspect. What's number four scenario situation, whoever picks that? Alright, two cards wanted to come out. Let's make it a three, bottom and top. And one. Alright. Alright, for scenario, we have the Edge of Stone Scales in Reverse, Seven of Arrows in Security, Balance in Reverse, the Hooded Man, and the Green Woman. Alright, so you could be connected with number one, I don't know. Um, but I do feel like a lack of creativity on your part. I do feel like you have a lot of insecurities, you have a lot of imbalances in your life. Um, I feel like you've been indoors too long, you need to get out, you need to get in sunshine. I do feel like um, you want to be this in some way, but I feel like you're in lack of balance somehow. Let's see, these th three cards wanted to come out. So, I feel like you want to create something. Let's see, this is the pull of star. You want your wish fulfillment, happiness over running, and fulfillment. So I do feel like if this is your uh, choice that you picked, I do feel like there's a lot of hidden creativity underneath you as a woman or man. And I do feel like things are very unbalanced here when it comes to your chakras for some reason. I do feel like you need to get out of your comfort zone just a little bit and be magnetizing to yourself. I do feel like with this, the green woman here, especially with the universe, you need to really get more in touch with your feminine side, whether you are a masculine or feminine. I do feel like there's a, a lack of maybe polarity, maybe of balancing those masculine traits and feminine side. But I do feel like here with the the world tree you want to create something that's lasting and that's rooted in something maybe it is something about your passions your drives your home life your career um 
yeah, you want your wish fulfillment in life. You want to be happy. You want to be free. But also, too, I feel like it has to do with you first. So this is about loving yourself. This is about taking time out for yourself. You know, maybe it is indulging in yourself a little bit of your happiness to fill this inner void that you may have. It could be about pregnancy. Some of you want to be mothers. Um, I know I'm picking up that energy. Um, but I feel like in order to create the happiness that you want, whether it is motherhood or childhood or whatever, I do feel like you need to let go of your insecurities. I do feel like your insecurities... The hidden aspects of your soul wants to create, but I feel like you're, you're pinpoint with your insecurities that are blocking you. And I really feel like you need to get in balance again. Like I said, I feel like you've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of work, inner work, especially with the, the uh, hooded man here. It's like the hermit card to me. So I feel like you need to really get in touch with maybe the masculine side of you, the feminine side. And I also feel like, you know, you need to uh, stand in your power, stand in your truth, and recognize that you have all the abilities within you to create the life that you want, whether it is a wish fulfillment, whether it is a partnership that you want. I just feel like you need to get out of your head and be content and happy with yourself and stop overindulging, but maybe indulge in the the betterment of life in the creativity part and stop blocking yourself and letting things weigh you down with your thoughts anyways that's pretty much the readings i just wanted to uh what is it called just do a little bit of it uh oh, what is it called i can't even think right now um, just to check out the cards, see how I like them and stuff, in readings and stuff. Um, I was going to say if you have personal readings. I don't do personal readings. Um, anyways, if you have any ideas of different readings I can do, I'd love to take uh, ideas. Um, but yeah, I love these cards. It's really cool. Anyways, have a good day. Bye.